Good evening, fellow travelers in the search for truth, uh, comrades, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Uh, tonight we are meeting again with Dr. Livius Dan from uh, Taiwan. Yes. Uh, and uh, Dan. Dan, a scientist from di uh, Taiwan. We are not going to call him Dr. Dan in this, uh, no uh, in this context. He's a scientist uh, and uh, he's visiting the United States and his friends in the Romanian American community in Chicago. So we have uh, the privilege to, to talk to him about uh, issues concerning the religion, the relationship between faith and science. And uh, I th tonight I'd like to, to approach a hot topic. Uh, the arguments for or against the existence of God. Now basically, uh, in the history of theology, we have a set of five arguments, the so-called scholastic arguments, based on um, Greek philosophy and scholastic logic about the existence of God. And I'm not going to, to enumerate them now, arguments like uh, the, the, the unmoved mover or the so-called ontological argument, the ethical argument, and so on, uh, the argument from design. I'm not uh, going to, to, to talk about them now. Uh, I remember that in the 18th century, Immanuel Kant, Kant uh, rejected all this argument and favored another argument. He basically proved to what uh, uh, Dr. Witt Wittgenstein did in a more sophisticated way in the 20th century. He proved that basically our, our thought cannot simply answer questions about God uh, the, in his critic of the pure reason. And, but he, he uh, created another argument, a sixth argument, which is the argument from practical reason, uh, namely that uh, freedom, moral freedom, uh, necessarily uh, implicates the existence of God. Yeah? Now, we, we, have, uh, we have passed, uh, uh, since long ago, the age of scholasticism, and the age of theology, and even the age of philosophy. Now, we live in a, the scientific age. We no longer ask uh, theologians for truth. Right. And we no longer ask philosophers for truth. Actually, philosophy is a, in a kind of identity crisis right now. We don't know exactly what philosophy is good for. Yeah? But ba basically, we have science. And uh, we, we uh, normal people turn to our science to ask about uh, the fundamental questions uh, in uh, life. Now, there is a common uh, assumption that science is not able to answer philosophical questions okay, or ontological questions. Uh, before we move on to, to, to inquire about God, I want to ask you as a scientist, do you think that science is able to ask questions that philosophy used to approach previously, like ontological questions, the nature of existence, the nature of our universe, uh, the nature of the human yeah. mind? Yeah. Do you uh, think that science is able to, or will be able in the future to address such questions in a scientific way? I think it certainly does. One reason is because um, I've, I've looked at uh, life and I looked at uh, advanced homo sapiens. Yeah. And uh, if you look at nature and the way yeah. things evolve, uh, evolution could have taken a number of different ways yeah. without bringing humanity yeah. in it. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, this is way too obvious yeah. and not this is not my statement this is uh, a statement from uh, Francisco Ayala I think yeah yeah, yeah. very very, very uh, I respect him a lot yeah and, and uh, from uh, Stephen Jay Gould yeah, yeah. Is the same yeah. yeah so so here we are uh, and, and you, you know you look at all these uh, animals and all these species that uh, uh, they were a lot more capable of yeah. uh, of uh, successful reproduction yeah. uh, and, and, and uh, relatively fast uh, maturity yeah. that humans are incapable of. Yeah. And you, you go back and you think about it, uh, a human that would take 20 years to mature yeah. uh, without any sophisticated weapons, yeah. you know, would yeah. just not survive against all this yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, incredible ac actually uh, and competition. Yeah. And, 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 and Stephen Jay Gould all, made a statement uh, that the success in evolution, in evolution is the bacteria yeah. and the parasites, not, uh, not humanity. Not humans. If you take, sure, as, yeah. as, as, uh, if you take survival yeah. as a value, 
yeah. uh, survival and uh, reproductive su su success as value. Uh, a worm, a parasite, does much better than yeah. what do. And not only that, but you look at uh, humans, not only that they, they take a long time to mature, but <laughs> they're also uh, not very friendly towards the environment where they live. They're pretty much... Uh, uh, Self-destructing themselves. Yeah. In uh, many ways. Yeah. Uh, humanity is, uh, and uh, I, I said once, humanity is the heresy of evolution. Yeah. Because because humanity Im implicates uh, uh, bipedalism with yeah. a big skull. Yeah. I mean, you have bipedalism with other animals, but you have small skull because right. it's difficult to, to give birth when you are bipedal. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Then the the problem is that uh, we all have to 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 come to this world mm -hmm. prematurely. Actually, yeah, yeah. so we sure. need we need uh, nurture because mm -hmm. uh, we cannot be uh, b b be born like uh, like a calf or like a, mm -hmm. a puppy, you know, right. fully right. functional. Yeah, because we would kill our mothers. Yeah. So so here's another thing: in in order for us to 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 make our species um, uh, more successful, yeah, uh, it seems like we. Uh, you know, it seems like we were pre-designed to, to advance uh, yeah. mentally in order yeah. so that uh, we can advance scientifically and medically so, so that we can aid with all these problems. Yeah. Uh, you know, cesarean sections yeah. and, and, and yeah. so many other exactly. things, you know, and, and you know, uh, many, uh, many different types of drugs and, and, yeah. and medical procedures so that we can uh, yeah, survive care. better as a species. We have organized child care. Right. Uh, uh, you know, uh, one of the icons of uh, atheism, Friedrich Nietzsche, uh, criticized Darwin because he said, uh, as far as I can see, uh, I mean, uh, reproduction and survival favorizes inferior species. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, you better That's become true. a parasite worm. Yeah, you know, yeah. you want to survive. You get rid of your brain, mm -hmm. you become a parasite, it's, yeah. it's okay. Why even you know? deal with Yeah, humanity. and so uh, Nietzsche said, that I don't believe in a materialistic uh, evolution. Right. There must be a power, yeah. a power yeah, definitely. that makes la la life expand yeah. and conquer and yeah. self-conquer. And, 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 I, and I, I, I will not be the only one saying this because I have a, a Christian background. Yeah. And I was raised as a Christian. Uh, Nietzsche so was not Christian, yeah. absolutely. So that's or Stephen Jay Gould was not Christian. So people may, may, may say that I'm uh, somewhat biased yeah. towards, uh, you know, believing God or, s or s anywhere related yeah. to that. But you look at all these atheists that yeah. became either agnostics yeah. or they actually turn into, you know, a belief in the, yeah. you know, triune God. Or yeah. triune uh, uh, Stephen Jay Gould is a, was a Marxist, mm -hmm. agnostic, Jewish, yeah. agnostic. He, ne he never believed in God in Christianity, right. but he he pointed quite clearly that evolution is a very unlikely event. I yeah. mean, he didn't say it's not naturally possible. Yeah, but it's 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 a uh, on its own against it's the odds. Yeah, on, on its own, it's unlikely that it would bring humanity along. Yeah, absolutely, humanity yeah. now because the tendency uh, if if, very if if yeah if uh, survival of the fittest and uh, repro the reproduction of the fittest to be to be fair to Darwin, yeah? Yeah. Uh, is the criteria of evolution. Yeah. We are not the fit. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely not. No, no, no. Uh, you know, maturing in 20 years, you know, when yeah. most other animals mature in a few years exactly, or, or, yeah. or, or months yeah. or even days. Uh, and re re uh, always re requiring uh, an artificial environment. Yeah. Now, let me uh, go one step further. So uh, you give an example that science can approach uh, 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 issues basically uh, ha that had been or used to be the, the, the domain of, uh, of right. philosophy. Yeah. Philosophy. I ought to also add uh, something that Heidegger said in the 20th mm -hmm. century, mm -hmm. basically, that now science is dealing with the nature of space and time, right. which is philosophy, yeah. basically. Then uh, in quantum physics, yeah. we deal with such questions as the nature of uh, non-existence mm -hmm. versus existence, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So this is quantum physics. So we, we, yeah. we are very far inside. So the question is, my question is, can science also be uh, a new portal of theology? It can be. Because if you look at science, um, science is doing exactly what, what, what the, uh, the, 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 the great philosopher and the yeah. great uh, you know, minds of the past have done. Uh, what they have done is they try to provide a way to heal humanity, like Buddha yeah. and Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know the Greek philosophers. And yeah. So that's exactly what uh, yeah. science is doing today. We're, mm -hmm. we're, com we're trying to do anything and everything to to 
to, to reduce the, the pain, the, the, you know, the, the, the sick condition of humanity, and then hopefully offer some, some new uh, uh, means and, and, and new hope for uh, uh, you know, life. Can science, uh, this, is a, this is an old but new question. Yeah. It's very, very much discussed all around. Can science provide a clue for the definition of good and evil? Uh, in a sense, yes. Mm -hmm. How? Yeah. How come? Well, uh, let's, let's look at a simple uh, laboratory experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we take some fruit flies yeah. or mice and we mm -hmm. induce uh, certain mutations that we know yeah. are bad, right? Yeah. And then we can direct those particular, uh, you know, uh, organisms yeah. to, to, to be <laughs> bad or evil, yeah. or, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, w w we can sort of project this on, on you know. On humanity. Yeah. And we can say, okay, humans can be, can do the right things, you know. Yeah. And uh, they can also be evil and do mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, Good evil. Things, so. To, to each other, especially mm -hmm. because you know you, you, you make those mutations yeah. uh, in, in, in the you know in those mice and you let them lose with the other mice and they start attacking them for no mm -hmm. reason and you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting. Uh, so you, you e even though they have plenty of food and yeah, plenty of yeah, water yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, you get to a kind of uh, original scene or something like that. Yeah, well, trying to mimic the original. Scene. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the, but, but basically. Uh, you might assume that uh, events in the history, the biological history of mankind might have had an impact. We can correct that yeah. impact. You know, yeah, and uh, I think that's, wha that's what science is trying to do today. You know. Actually, you know, I have a, uh, a guess, you know. It's yeah. an uh, un, uh, unprofessional, uninformed guess. Uh, maybe unprofessional, not, un not quite uninformed. Da. Basically, yes, I, ha yes. <laughs> I have the feeling, I have the feeling that mankind, in a certain way, has evolved uh, morally. They have. And, uh, my, 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 my evidence is the Bible. Yeah. If I were David, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to bring uh, my fiance such a wonderful gift. You know what I yeah, I'm talking yeah. about, no? <laughs> I remember or that. just to, to kill, to, to, to split pe people's, uh, people's bellies, uh, uh, you know, with, with a bronze sword. I, yeah, I without mean, anesthetics. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> exactly. So I wouldn't be able to, to do it yeah. so, 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 so coldly. So I believe that uh, human nature changed. They have. Because and of civilization. Uh, and, and I think last time I mentioned uh, why they changed, because uh, we were like a wild uh, animal, yeah. right? With uh, many philosophers and Jesus came yeah. to tame. And once he tamed us, even though we were not given, because, you know, when Jesus... Uh, told us different things and Buddha yeah, and all this yeah. th there was always a promise like oh you will be rich yeah. or you will be like this but you know even though those promises were taken away yeah once we were tamed yeah we kept going it became we our tamed. nature yeah, yeah it became our nature do you know what mm -hmm. I mean just yeah, like yeah. the workers yeah. you know you tame them and you give them a treat you give them yeah. a fish right yeah but once if if the master retires or dies or anything or it escapes into yeah, deep water yeah and you take the fish away and yeah. even though they still have to hunt for themselves yeah. They will still keep that training yeah, in yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. They're still tamed. Yeah, they're not. And they their don't nature changes. Again. I know yeah. about that dolphin. Uh, that and was. Uh, the, the, yeah. The so it's very possible to be an atheist or an yeah. agnostic and yeah. to be a moral human being. Be a Christian. You know, uh, incidentally, you know, uh, Hitchens said in many of his debates, he said something uh, mm -hmm. of this nature, mm -hmm. like, "Tell me a moral thing uh, that." Uh, that that uh, believer in God yeah. does that an atheist cannot do, or vice yeah. versa. Yeah. You know, and I'm and I'm like, there's no such thing. Yeah. Why? Because we are all moral. Yeah. You know, I mean, if supposedly God created all of us equal, yeah. Then we don't need to worry about yeah. Christian or atheist or, or Muslim mm -hmm. or, or agnostic. We're all equal, right? We all have the ability to be moral. Yeah. Once we were tamed. Yeah. Right. Uh, the question is why was so natural for an Aztec or an Inca to bring a human sacrifice is not for those who were exposed to the teachings of Buddha, of right. Confucius, yeah, exactly. of Jesus exactly. Christ. You know, yeah, those people were, were, were yeah. linea alienated from, from you know, enlightened minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just finally, when, when, when they yeah. were in touch with, with, yeah. with morality and things like that, they stopped doing it. Of course, they don't of course, do that anymore, yeah. right? And the Assyrians did a lot of queer things before yeah the advent of the so-called excellent revolution yeah. when the G Hebrew prophets yeah. started teaching and Buddha and Socrates. So, I mean, Hitchens is not right. 
because he ignores the history of, yeah. of morality. Yeah, of course. So because we, we as all Christians, whether or not we accept it, we are, uh, inter, uh, we are implicit Christians. Right. All, almost all of us. Yeah. So how about God? Okay. What has science to say about the existence of God? What, uh, how would you fr phrase the argument from, for God from a scientific point of view? Um, well, there's no doubt that even, uh, you know, people that, uh, you know, even uh, Dawkins says, you know, I'm 99% atheist or agnostic, yeah. but maybe 1%, I, I, I'm, I'm open to the, to the idea that yeah. there is a force or, or a God mm -hmm. or something of some kind that, but mm -hmm. he said, why does it have to be the God of, of the Bible? That's his. Why does it have to be parochial? Also? Yeah. Why does it have to be Yahweh? Yeah. I agree. I agree. And, you know, uh, so. My idea, like I said yeah. last time, uh, whatever it doesn't matter what we want to call him or yeah. it or whatever, but I could see that uh, if anything, it would be close to the idea of a triune God mm -hmm. more than anything else, based mm -hmm. on you know some of the trademarks in nature yeah. and, and things like that. So I think not not only me with a with, with a background yeah. or, or being raised as yeah. a Christian uh, yeah. feel this, but you know even people that are. But okay, uh, you, you, you spoke about triune God, so why you, you, you b believe that God is triune, you know? Yeah. But what is your argument for the existence of God per se? Ah. Not, not Trinity, but God, God in period. General. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that uh, most of us that are scientists, yeah. uh, including uh, Dawkins and yeah. other people that they are Gnostics, yeah. uh, we, 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 I think we realize that the, the, the core information in a cell Mm -hmm. uh, it must come from from an intelligent mind. Yeah, you know, th it's very very unlikely. Uh, I don't know. They they worked out the probability of it, which is so unlikely that yeah. there's more. Uh, it's it's higher than the, the the number of atoms in the universe. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So when you have a probability that's so low, even higher than the number of uh, yeah. atoms in the universe, it's almost impossible, right? Could we could I we it's say not possible could that, we say that, that uh, this information could not have risen by chance? Yeah. Could you say this is a scientific way to say in the beginning was the Logos? Uh, that yeah. was the word, you know, John chapter 1, verse right, 1. Right, right, in right. In the beginning was the Logos. Right. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not the word like, uh, like, uh, like part we speak of speech. A word. It's the Logos, the Logos, yeah? yeah? yeah. In the beginning was the Logos. So uh, uh, could you say For that example, this is a kind if, of Logos? If, if John knew about, knew about computers and, and, yeah. and uh, binary functions, he yeah. would say in the, in the beginning it was the computer. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. Got here a or the program. Yeah, or Maybe. the program. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the program. Uh, yeah. The soft, the soft, the soft. The so soft, yeah. uh, you you you'd say that information at least at least in the in the the science of life. At least the way we look at it. Yeah, yeah. we we. I mean, it's it's no doubt about it that it it, it was designed by intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay. You no, know, no, no. Yeah. I'm not no, I'm not going to say that I bring this argument from the point of uh, intelligent design. Yeah. Right. I mean, I I, I leave everything. Yeah, aside. yeah, yeah, yeah. Intelligent design is about okay, God's intervention in evolution, right, complexity, right. relativity, yeah. complexity. But I, I, I believe uh, this is uh, what we call in physics the anthropic principle, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you have the first information. I mean, uh, yeah, like, like yeah. having the DNA. And then right after that, we notice a pattern that has not been changed. Yeah, life always comes from life, and it yeah. keeps going, and it keeps yeah, going. Yeah. We, we, I don't think we're ever going to have a chance anytime soon. Yeah when we will see the life will arise from now okay life. let me ask you this so do you uh, i have uh, there is the notion a concept of the biological big bang yeah like there is a big bang at the beginning of the universe mm -hmm. there is a big bang of genetic information yeah okay and uh, some people say that god created the life not in a special way for earth you know mm -hmm. but other people like friends uh, like fred hoyle uh, believe that there is a biological big bang uh, that was almost parallel with the, the general Big Bang, you know? So from the beginning of the universe, there, there was the, the, the biological life as information, right. not some living cell, yeah. you know, spread. Do, do you think, uh, do, how do you find, it's a philosophic as a speculation, how do you find this? What is your, uh, your option between uh, well, life created on Earth or life created at the beginning of the universe? Um, as information, I mean, not as uh, As information? It's it's a little bit it's a little bit of a confusing idea to look at it yeah. because um, life as information is one thing, but life as complex life yeah. is a totally different thing. Yeah. So uh, in order f 
for for complex life to yeah. exist, you you have to create a medium, or yeah. you at least to to to, to evolve it in a yeah. way to be mm -hmm. possible for complex life. Now let, let me go to an, uh, a concrete example. Yeah? yeah, we have viruses. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is uh, your as a scientist? Do you define viruses as living things or? Uh, well, they're not really living because they, living. they don't produce their own DNA. Yeah, they so they have to in yeah. infect the host, and yeah. then they use the host yeah. DNA to. Yeah. But there are strings of DNA. Yeah, there yeah. are strings of DNA okay. that, uh, you know, uh, sort of like in between, you know. So a lot of people think, oh, you see, viruses are a perfect example of transition from yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, biogenesis yeah, yeah. Yeah. to, to yeah. but I don't think that proves anything. But uh, wouldn't it be possible that the virus is uh, just, uh, the original virus could be living cells? They uh, just escaped, let's say, they, they yeah, broke yeah, cells. That's, that's another thing. So then if, if they're just... Uh, Cell escapees, yeah. then it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it proves the, the opposite. It proves the degeneration of cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah, you know, yeah. something of that nature. It, it might be, but definitely uh, there is information without cell. It's not yeah. cell, but it's the biological information. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it has a, it seems to me, I'm not a scientist, but it, it seems more natural to me that viruses originated in cells. Yeah. So it's degraded information. Yeah. yeah. Know, like yeah. like computer viruses, yeah. by the way. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the I think the that idea is. It's quite uh, common and accepted mm -hmm. among scientists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and so uh, so one argument for God, uh, for you who work in the the science of life, yeah, it's a life, uh, computer science also. You, yeah. you have a kind yeah. of uh, we we clone both. Well, you know, it's, it's something very interesting because um, we we work virtually to speed yeah. up uh, to speed up a lot of the the the, the biological works. Yeah. we just take the results and sometimes I think that maybe God has done the same thing. He has mm -hmm. worked virtually and then mm -hmm. once he came up with some interesting results then mm -hmm. he just transposed it into a you know natural environment and mm -hmm. you know. so you see creation as something like you do on your computer yeah when you create a, a virtual uh, uh, reaction world, yeah. chemical yeah. Reaction, virtual yeah. world and then you test it in the real world yeah. You know? yeah and this is like saying in the beginning was the logos and the logos became flesh yeah but but then again because god has so much more advanced technology than we do and so much more knowledge yeah. Yeah. for him it's not a test it's 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 yeah. it's, it's maybe like reality it's, it's yeah. ready to go yeah but this know? is an analogy we, ca yeah. we can uh, yeah comprehend. this is the only thing we can yeah. comprehend yeah mm -hmm. so what other argument uh, uh, for instance okay uh, i understand this is your argument your ontological argument yeah, yeah? It's this is a creator that I yeah. would but what argument you have for religion so okay there are, there is some something we know god and uh, yeah he created uh, mm -hmm. inform genetic information but how about uh, uh, religious life? Why is it necessary for us to, to be religious? Or is it really, really necessary to be religious? I honestly believe that there's no need to be religious. Mm -hmm. I'm personally not very religious. You cons you I'm don't consider yourself religious. I'm more spiritual than anything. Well, what's the difference between spiritual and religious? Uh, more and more people well, define themselves as spiritual, not religious. <laughs> I think uh, if you are religious, you, 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 you partake in a certain... Uh, you know, belief yeah. or, or dogma, and you, mm -hmm. you, you, you really, uh, you know, religions to me, they're like sports, you know, yeah. like, uh, uh, you know, one sport, you use a cer certain kind of ball, you, you yeah. throw it a different way, or you mm -hmm. throw it a certain way, and another sport maybe uses a different kind of ball. And you and think your sport is the best? Yeah, and you, yeah, you always think that you sport, so you're always going to be biased yeah, because yeah, you yeah. think, oh, the sport is so, yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah. So it's like, you know, us being, uh, you know, belonging to a certain kind of uh, religion, yeah. it's no better or no worse than saying, you know, I like to play golf, so I belong to a golf mm -hmm. club, or mm -hmm. I like to play volleyball, and I go and uh -huh. sign up for a volleyball club, you know, because for one thing, you, you, you like the sport, it makes sense to you, you yeah. know, you would rather play volleyball and, and not golf, right? So, 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 I would, so for example, we would rather be Seventh Adventists yeah. than being Catholics, but... Yeah. Really, you know, they're both sports, they're both religions. So. You think they are both clubs, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I, I think that's why spirituality is, is so much more meaningful and, and yeah. deeper because uh, however the, the, you, uh, your spirit guides you and, you know, whether you do something to improve the world or you, you do something to uh, make the world, uh, the world more detrimental to, yeah. to everything around, it's based pretty much uh, on your how, spirituality, how not, not on the religion. You so, know? Uh, how do you define a spiritual life then? So you, you said you define religion as a good thing yeah. or bad thing, yeah. but not uh, necessarily... Because, you know, you could be a Muslim and you don't have to be a radical. You yeah. Know? And, uh, you know, you can overcome all the issues of, you know, uh, 
inequality and, uh, and things like that. We have that. them in Christianity, too, by the way. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, same so thing yeah. with Christianity. You know, yeah. you, you can overcome all this yeah. d dogmas of, you know, the Old Testament mm -hmm. of, you know, man is first and, you know, yeah. whatever. So uh, uh, how do you define spirituality? Well, okay. So uh, being spiritual would be, okay, let's look at some of the, the, the leading figures of uh, spirituality spiritual people like yeah. the Buddha, Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, people that were really, you spiritual. know, spiritual. Uh, oh, by the way, even, even so some sorry to interrupt. Do you, uh, it's quite clear that Buddha was not religious. Yeah, okay? it's but quite clear that Jesus wasn't religious. This is the problem. Do you think Jesus was not religious? I don't think he was religious. Mm -hmm. actually, actually, religion killed him. Yeah, yeah. If anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> so yeah, why right. would he condone something that he, he knew he was going to kill him in the end? Uh -huh. This is, this is uh, funny because we have a song in our uh, children hymnal, like Jesus learned in the Sabbath school to behave and blah, 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 you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And so uh, it seems to me that Jesus has never been a very, uh, a, 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 a very conformist person in the Sabbath right. school or yeah. synagogue. Yeah, yeah. Or As a matter of fact, if, if, if he was on the way to church to preach yeah. or to synagogue, yeah. right, and he saw someone sick or something, he would say, you know, the service can wait. Yeah. I'm going to do, you know, uh, I'm going to heal this person or, or do something to help this person, right? And incidentally, you know, that, that, that happened to me, yeah. which I should have mentioned in, in the keeping of the Sabbath, yeah. which let's quickly say it now. Yeah. This was the biggest and the best Sabbath blessing in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was on the way to church, right? Mm -hmm. We see this lady in, in Taiwan pushing a scooter. So obviously yeah. she had some, some motorcycle problem. Yeah. So I told my wife, you know, the, the church is not going anywhere, but this lady needs to go somewhere. Let's yeah. stop and see what we can do for her. Mm -hmm. So we quickly uh, saw what the problem is. We couldn't fix the scooter. We, we put her in the car, and we gave her a ride to, to the nearest uh, metro station. Yeah. Now, my wife exchanged uh, uh, email addresses and, and everything with her. Uh, we were going to get married like uh, two or three weeks later. Yeah. Uh, and we weren't married yet. So what happened is about a week later, I broke my, my left uh, uh, yeah. index fing finger. Yeah. And I was preparing a song to, be, to play it at the wedding. Yeah. And there's no way I was going to do it. I'm, not, I'm no Paganini. I cannot yeah. play with uh, three <laughs> fingers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So my wife, she put this message on Facebook. Oh, you know, my husband was looking forward to play violin. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, he's mm -hmm. so devastated. And I'm devastated because mm -hmm. uh, we actually wanted to entertain the guests, not the guests yeah. to come and entertain us. Mm -hmm. So this lady that we helped, she saw the message on Facebook. And she yeah. said, oh, you know, my friend, he's a violinist. Uh, and mm -hmm. he's a conductor in an or mm -hmm. orchestra. And he can uh -huh. come and play violin for you. And, you know, he came and uh, team, teamed up with an amazing pianist. Mm -hmm. And they put on the best show that <laughs> could have yeah. ever been yeah, yeah. that, you know, I could have never done it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I look at this as a miracle, a, a Sabbath miracle, yeah. you know, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that, you know, you leave religion aside and you do something based on your uh, spiritual intuition. Yeah. And then that turns into a blessing. And, you know, those people were, came in contact with, with, with God and mm -hmm. with God. Us and, you uh, know. By the way, do you believe in miracles? I do. I yeah. just gave you an example of one. An example. So <laughs> uh, most people wouldn't call that a miracle. Well, yeah. whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to. How do you define a miracle uh, as a scientist? Well, as a scientist, I, I think of cause and effect, yeah. uh, you know, like the butterfly effect. It might be yeah. something very small, but eventually it will reach uh, mm -hmm. a certain destination. Yeah. And uh, it will turn out to be a, a very causative, uh, yeah. to, to have a very purposeful cause, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, like even if we don't understand all even, the mechanics, yeah, even, yeah. Uh, yeah, there, is I, I, cause I, I, there is a cause and effect relation. Right. From, from my point of view, I believe that uh, any kind of miracle that exists in the universe has a, a natural yeah. base. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I don't per se, I'm not so convinced about people, you know, like jumping up and down, yeah. Uh, screaming to whatever God they scream at and, you know, God's going to, you know, pull some strings and, you know. You know, it's funny because some people call me an atheist because I, I'll, I keep saying that uh, miracles don't really happen. I mean, they happen, okay, miracles. They are not a suspension of the laws of nature. Right. The laws of nature are never suspended, mm -hmm. you know. There is never yeah. something from outside the universe coming to our universe. The, you're an atheist. Not, I'm not an atheist. Yeah, I believe absolutely, yeah. in miracles, but I, I totally not, in, not in a superstitious way. Yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, that's why, you know, some, some people, they, they are, you know, satisfied by, by you know, meaningless emotional uh, yeah. happenings, you know. And some people, 
are satisfied by very scientific uh, mm -hmm. based uh, you know cause and effect yeah. sort of uh, happenings that mm -hmm. I consider a miracle so it's a meaning yeah it's meaningful it's yeah. miracle because it has a meaning yeah Absolutely. Uh, do you, so you said you don't consider yourself religious. No. You consider yourself so. spiritual. I, I, I don't, you know, like, I told you the pastor was saying, oh, you know, why don't you come to church first and then you go to, to the orphanage, yeah. you know, with your daughter. And I said, well, you know, if, if, if I think that uh, I'm needed more at the orphanage, I will go there first. And, mm -hmm. you know, if there's time for church, <laughs> I'll come mm -hmm. to church. Yeah. Because that's what Jesus would do anyway, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or Buddha or any of those people that would go to preach and on, on the way to, to preaching or, or delivering a, a you know a speech, if they saw someone that needed help, they would stop and help first. Do you think that uh, two questions? Do you think that religion has a future in in the, in the next century, let's say, and spirituality has a future in the next uh, few centuries? Well, you know, I think th there's the prophecy where where Jesus, yeah, or is it Jesus that says yeah. you will worship me in the spirit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I think... It's John chapter 4. Yeah, so I think that would probably pull us out of this religious dogmas. And, yeah. and, and then the, our, 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 you know, sort of a, a feeling that we need to have religion, otherwise... Yeah. We, but, but then again, you know, they've done studies to where they have uh, looked at uh, people belonging to, to, to religious organizations yeah. or groups or churches and so forth, and they realized that Generally, they're happier. They're, they're yeah. more. They're more fulfilled. Yeah. They're, they live longer. Yeah. They're somewhat healthier. You know. But this is not uh, in contrast with your thesis. Yeah. They are as good as clubs. Yeah. Health club, for instance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I, you know, I, we have to also take th that into consideration because you know we've done uh, statistical uh, measurements and you know it's, it's scientific yeah. the the, yeah. the studies that we perform on this. So. Uh, but they also so did a study on prayer. You know. Yeah. And they, they, they came up with the conclusion that it doesn't help to, with healing. Yeah, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you remember yeah, that Yeah, yeah, I totally yeah. agree with that. But mm -hmm. uh, in generally speaking, as participating yeah. in, in, in groups of, you know, uh, that peop because people feel like they have, they're accepted there, mm -hmm. they feel like there's a m purpose and meaning, m meaning to life and things like now, that. Now, let me say something, a conclusion I, I, I came to yeah. as a pastor. Mm -hmm. When in the church, People come to the church, but they don't have this feeling, dreadful feeling, you know. Oh, if I don't go to church, God is going to be angry on me. Or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, you know, I yeah, used to yeah. feel like that. Yeah, yeah. Know? Or I have to go I'm to church so to I'm satisfy God. From that. You know what? When you come to church freely, it's such a blessing. Oh, yeah, it's a real absolutely. blessing. Because you don't come to church uh, with this thought, okay, I, I am not allowed to be in another place today. It's it's sad, sad I have to be in the church. No, we don't have the. the, the you yeah. have an option. Okay, I choose to go to church. Yeah. Because I need it, or maybe I love it. So. Or I want to meet my friends. Yeah. Whatever. It's such a, 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 a such a joy. Yeah. You know. And it's probably that particular situation which actually makes those people more healthy, more more, yeah, more, more exactly. fulfilled. Yeah. 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 Not those that necessarily go there out of fear. Yeah. You know. The so-called liberal Christians, be, actually, yeah. 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 Uh, um, uh, ba basically, I, I believe that uh, uh, there is there is a joke in, in, in Romania. You know, mm -hmm. you 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 can choose your your, yeah. your friends, but you cannot choose your yeah. brothers. You know, so so when there are friends at church, yeah. you go there uh, yeah. with passion. Yeah. When there are brothers, so so different. to fully answer your question, I think that yes, I think uh, you know uh, certain kind of beliefs and clubs yeah. will. S Will, will serve a purpose to, to you know, bring yeah. certain people together to, you know, their kids play together mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, sing, and, yeah. and, you know, stories and things like mm -hmm. that. So, yeah. yeah. You, you said, you said uh, that uh, you believe in eternal life. Yeah, yeah so I do believe in, I, I in call that life. the third stage of our existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah you said that. So the next stage of our existence, yeah, by the exactly. way. So I uh, don't, I, I, I omit from saying that going to heaven because yeah. it's, it's just too... Uh, Unorthodox at this point. Uh, yeah, uh, and it's too primitive to say go yeah. to heaven. So the the first uh, the first stage is his fetus. The of second years, is yeah. human. Yeah. The third is after after post life. Human, yeah. uh, post human. Uh, okay. So uh, and I also find this this very uh, very uh, interesting symbol of the Trinity. You know, yeah. it's a triune. It's and in order for you to stages. actually make it there, you have to be. Yeah. Th those three they have to be mm -hmm. connected together. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, so that's why I don't think that a, f a fetus that 
that was, uh, uh, you know, aborted yeah. will ever make it there. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, incidentally, you know, you can only have the next stage based yeah. on what this decision you make in this stage. In this stage, yeah. Uh, yeah, as, yeah, a, as, yeah. A, as a human, because yeah. as a fetus, you, you can't think. You, can, uh, you yeah. don't think you, fetuses you don't go to heaven yeah. or to hell. Uh, they I, are born. I, yeah. I, I just think this is just one cells of the, that never made it. Yeah, this is one of the stupidities of, the, of American conservative Christianity, yeah. you know, to talk about fetuses in heaven or in <laughs> hell. By the way, there are so many miscarriages yeah. in the, uh, exactly. one, one woman's life, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but, but my question was that, uh, okay, what role does, do you think does relig denomina denomination, religion, play in um, helping people go to the next stage? Let me use this word. Well, and is there a, a difference like that religion is better than other in taking people to the next stage? I certainly think that, you know, some sports are more healthy and, yeah. and, and, and less, less dangerous for your body. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the same thing with religion. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, for me, this is a good comparison, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, I definitely think that overall all sports yeah. are, 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 you know, they do something for your health, right? Yeah. So overall, maybe all religions, they try to give you a purpose in life and, yeah. and, and a direction. But obviously, they are less dangerous sports mm -hmm. and more beneficial for your body. And so it's with religion. There are definitely more religions that are more beneficial to your intellectual yeah. and, and mm -hmm. healthier for your mm -hmm. mind mm -hmm. than others. You know, I noticed something that uh, basically yeah. the evolution of religion, yeah. like the evolution of life, mm -hmm. basically, when uh, two, grow, two populations are separated, right. they evolve differently. Yeah. So, the evolution of Asian religions mm -hmm. was different. Yeah. And I'm talking uh, not about Indians right now. I'm talking about uh, the, the, the group we call Asians per okay. se, okay? So uh, talking about Buddha, which was an Indian, of course, but was more successful, more popular in China. In China, Buddha, not Zoroastro, not Zoroastro, Zoroastro I, Buddha, Confucius, Confucius, Confucius yeah. Tao, mm -hmm. Tao, yeah. uh, Tao Tzu, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, there is a difference between Christianity and those religions. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, do you find any strengths in, in the Asian religions that Christianity and Islam and Judaism don't share into? Yeah, I think... And the vice versa? Yeah, I think uh, their religions are definitely a lot more accepting and inclusive yeah. than, than ours. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't put you down for what you believe like we like to do. Yeah. Oh, this, can you believe these people yeah, yeah, yeah. believe like that? They're not like that, mm -hmm. you know. And they actually, you know, revere... Uh, and, and, and respect other religions mm -hmm. and uh, even try to incorporate not necessarily the beliefs per se yeah. but they incorporate uh, uh, the message yeah. you know like uh, Jesus's message a lot of people a lot of Asians uh, you know they, they think of it as, as special and, you know. I noticed that in my interactions yeah. with Asians even with Indians Indians yeah. I noticed that they are ready to, uh, to incorporate what uh, they see positive in the teaching of Jesus without becoming Christians yeah and I understand that in Japan there is a kind of um, uh, buffet religion. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, they I do understand. marriage in the Catholic Church, then they do funeral in a, uh, I think in a Shintoist temple or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, so it's. Uh, yeah. I mean, they go for what uh, they feel it's mm -hmm. better suits their. Yeah. Well, uh, so uh, uh, is there anything that Christianity can learn from those religions? Not only yeah, in definitely. ethics and I metaphysics. Think, I, I think that uh, Jesus was very inclusive. Yeah. Uh, the his followers, the pastors were, you know, with some exceptions. Yeah. But Paul was very inclusive, obviously, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. and he actually uh, he did what those uh, uh, other religions are doing. Yeah. He was very uh, he revered, you know, the the Greek uh, yeah, yeah, philosophy, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. incorporated and, and, and in, in, into yeah. into the the Christian. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just like Buddhism is yeah. doing, so. I could see some some very good parallels mm -hmm. uh, among the the, the 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 founders of yeah. Christianity and, and and Buddhism. Well, but what would you answer to a guy who comes to you and say, okay, yes, they have great things. Buddha had the kind of psychology, you know, mm -hmm. and all these tower things, medicine and stuff, yeah, yeah. and uh, psychotherapy. But uh, you know, y if you don't have Jesus, you don't go to, don't go to heaven. So all these people will, will rot in hell well, forever. So you know, like we spoke about it earlier, you yeah. know, we're growing. Yeah. Some of us grow in the stage uh, a little bit more than others. Hmm. And just like a fetus, you know, some yeah. fetuses, they're, they're, they're born, you know, with a cesarean uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, procedure at uh, seven months. Yeah. You know, and not only that they make it, yeah. but they 
tend to be a lot better off yeah. than those that are born at a later, yeah. The, yeah. Uh, later stage. So I would, I would assume that if God has all this amazing technology that we speak of yeah. and we understand through science, he may be able to perform a cesarean on those that are not <laughs> grown enough and yeah. want, when they get to, to, to you know, the next stage of existence, they fulfill their education. Heaven, yeah. then they can grow up much faster than us. Perhaps, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then yeah. we might be uh, surprised mm -hmm. and maybe yeah. unhappy a little bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So they supercompensate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They overcompensate. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, how about uh, uh, there is a common allegation among Seventh Day Adventists and Baptists? Basically, mm -hmm. it's different. I mean, Baptist evangelicals would say, you know, uh, those people are vegetarians; they don't eat the meat and yeah. call uh, Lord us against. They worship demons and blah blah blah. Now, Seventh Day Adventists had another obsession, which mm -hmm. I'm more familiar with, is spiritualism. Yeah. You know, all those people with their their uh, acupuncture puncture and yoga and meditations mm -hmm. they are spiritualists you yeah, know? yeah so we have to be afraid because it's the devil coming well through. you know going back to what jesus said you will worship in the spirit i think we should yeah. probably be more open to this kind of thing so this kind of experience can help our spirit or yeah. spiritual life mm -hmm. in, in, in uh, a sense but i i don't think we should you know start worshiping those kind of mm -hmm. spiritual ideas mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like uh, like i think that uh, I, I, I think the yoga is, is, is good. Yeah. You know, it's good for your body, it's good for your mind. Yeah. But I don't think you should uh, put that, you know, uh, uh, you should put that higher than the message of Jesus, yeah, yeah. in my opinion. How about Tai Chi? If you know about the message yeah. of Jesus, but if you don't know the message of Jesus, yeah. I don't see a problem. How about then Tai Chi? Tai Chi? Tai Chi. I think it's very, very healthy. It's, it's yeah. very healthy. I, I've tried it a few times. Yeah? yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. I never tried it. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 well, I see people in the, in the park, in the lake, yeah. uh, lake park doing Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think morning. you should join them yeah. sometimes. Yeah. 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 No. Like when I Keep exercise, up. I just keep joking. Uh, okay. So, but yeah. I see they do those Tai Chi yeah. Yeah. things. Yeah. They are groups. They, yeah, it's and good uh, stuff. They seem very inclusive. Yeah. If you yeah. want to join, they, yeah. you are yeah. welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Most of them are Asians, of course. Yeah, yeah. So I think I see another difference, and I am really tempted. Uh, by Asians in uh, one thing. Uh, basically, in uh, uh, most of their religious exercises, they focus on, um, on the uh, inner world of, of a person, you know? Mm -hmm. In their meditations, mm -hmm. they want to focus on, on, the, uh, yeah. on the inwards. Yeah, inwards, yeah. Your while body and your spirit. Yeah, yeah, while we Christians focus outwards. Only on the outward, yeah. yeah. So and that's the problem. I think if we can sort of like, Mm -hmm. Mix the two will get more out of it. Get more out yeah. of, of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because, say, okay, Jesus is in heaven, so I have to think at the person outwards me. Yeah. And we even have but, this but, problem. But Jesus says, you know, the, the kingdom of God is within yourself. This is the problem. So I think this is, he probably touched on a little bit of, uh, of, of uh, Eastern uh, ideology, yeah. Yeah, yeah. if anything. Uh, basically, we have the, the legacy of Judaism. And Judaism, they say, is a religion of encounter, mm -hmm. you know, abstract encounter yeah. with God. And uh, so uh, it's not a, re a religion of, of meditation and the going uh, inside. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I find uh, uh, a little frustrating in mm -hmm. Christianity is that basically this tendency to always look outward. Really. Yeah. And you always think at Jesus. Yeah. And think outward. Although uh, the Paul says that Jesus is within. Yeah. Like you said, the kingdom is within. But always looking for a kingdom uh, out outside, yeah. we are going to go to heaven to wear those cr wonderful crowns, to yeah. uh, unfading flowers. And the more people you save, the more stars you will have. Yeah, yeah. And we play with lambs and lions and pet them and so on. Then uh, how boring. Yeah, it, uh, I can it's only boring, I can yeah. only look at science today yeah. and look at that projection and yeah. think how boring, you know. Yeah, how absolutely. Unfortunate, you know. Uh, this is not life is dead, okay. And uh, unfading, unfading flowers are not alive. Yeah. Why would I want to go to a place where I'm going to do less intelligent science yeah. that I'm doing right now. Because if you live in a church where you are not allowed to do any intelligent thing, but just to worship and think yeah. and sing and pray and externally focused, yeah. as I said, you yeah. know, and always afraid about what the big guy in the sky says about mm -hmm. or thinks about me, you know, then, okay, this is uh, your idea of heaven. I'm going to, to, to sing and, and dance and maybe play with the lambs and play with the lions and pluck some flowers, they never fade and then sing again, and then go for a walk in the, yeah. the wood, and uh, then we pray together, then we sing together, we meet Jesus, 
on a, a path and talk to Jesus. And so this is uh, all very infantile, very, very, very childish, very childish. So uh, well, should I, no I get excited of, about it? I have no objection of talking to Jesus. I think that would be yeah. wonderful. Uh, oh, this would be very, very interesting. Very interesting, very interesting. But I would prefer to talk to him on a scientific level, not yeah. on a kindergarten level. You know? Of course, yeah. This is the problem, the, the kindergarten religion. So we teach those things to the kids, and it's not bad we teach them. But when we grow up, we, 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 st we are stuck in the same worldview, which is yeah. kindergarten, as you said. Yeah. It's, it's childish. Yeah. And so, um, uh, OK, uh, spirituality. Let me go back to spirituality. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that uh, spiritual people uh, are more bound, heaven bound? Or no, yeah. not heaven bound, OK. Next stage bound yeah. than yeah. other people. I think so. I think the the. If we, if we actually take what Jesus said literally for yeah. once and, and, and understand that yeah. the kingdom of God is within ourselves and we need, uh, we, we need yeah. to come in touch with our yeah. spirit and so forth, then we are pro probably a lot better off than, than being religious and sticking to some dogmas that mm. don't even make any sense in, in this age and mm. time. And you know, th there was a, a scholar in the Middle Age, late Middle Age, uh, Parcelius. He had this theory of three stages, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you are familiar, but it's very interesting. Uh, yeah, I've heard a little bit. Yeah, he, he said if uh, a fetus has no lambs, uh, no, limbs, no limbs, yeah. no limbs, no yeah. limbs, no, no limbs, okay, whatever, uh, no, uh, not developed organs, you yeah. know, s sensory organs also, mm -hmm. uh, he can make it in the first stage pretty well. You know, yeah, as can. a fetus, I, yeah, but I he see. will not be able to make it the next stage. No, because what kind of a decision would he make unless, unless you know, I, I think God is probably wonderful and good enough yeah. to say, you know what, this fetus made it into the next stage, yeah. doesn't have the ability. And incidentally, there w yeah. th it, there's a crazy guy like in, in where we live, like he's got yeah. some mental problem. Okay, not crazy, just yeah. some abnormality. Yeah. And, you know, he's fully operational. He can see, yeah. he can walk, he can do all these sorts yeah. of things. But he just can rationalize. He, yeah. he pees in the middle of the road, you know, yeah. with people watching him. Yeah, yeah. He pees in a cup and then he drinks it yeah, and all yeah. this stuff. And I don't see a problem if, if, if Jesus wants to take this person and transfer him into the next stage of yeah. existence yeah. and allow him to, to be fully yeah. human and yeah. grow to mm -hmm. the next post-human stage. Yeah. I don't, see a, I don't see a problem either. I don't see a problem if it doesn't make it either. I, yeah, yeah, I don't see I don't see a problem either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't need also uh, don't need a limbo for him and yeah, so on yeah. or purgatory. But um, what Parcelli said that basically is the same thing with the, the, the third stage of life, the, the afterlife, because if in this life you do not develop uh, spiritual abilities, mm -hmm. it's like you don't uh, have limbs or sensory organs yeah, yeah. or good but like I said, you know, if, if sometimes uh, a fetus, we know it's going to have problems making yeah. it to the ninth yeah. month. Yeah, exactly. We can take it out when it's yeah. seven months. And, and it can help overcompensate yeah. the, yeah. the So the if God handicap. is willing to do that with us, no problem. so be it. No problem. I, I don't have a, no problem. a problem yeah. either or. Yeah, because yeah. actually that person never really had the op opportunity to actually think whether that next stage is actually yeah. worth it or not. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Whereas exactly. we have the chance to actually think it through. Yeah. Yeah. No, some of us, anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah of course. <laughs> so, not uh, so, I mean, if you uh, uh, live in this life, this second stage, yeah, yeah. this stage, and you have no interest uh, for spiritual things, for instance, and you are kind of egotistic and selfish and yeah. self absorbed. Yeah, and, and you never whatever. even try. I honestly yeah. think that Hitchens tried. Yeah. So, if, if someday we'll see H Hitchens in heaven, in some galaxy yeah. that yeah. God will give to him to yeah. own. Because yeah. he will give us many mansions, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a house a with a swimming hole. pool. Yeah, yeah. It's probably going to be a, a few million galaxies. Yeah, know? yeah. Uh, if I see him in one of those galaxies, and he's like, "Hey, come on over and party with me," yeah, I can, I can, I can. Very I entertaining. Assured, I can rest assured that that God saw that he actually tried. Let me, let me even though he smoked yeah. and drank, and we think yeah. that that's a big sin. Oh yeah, yeah. And he didn't believe in God. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I, I, can, I, I can accept that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, my humble opinion so is that. So that's why I think that we don't always have to make a decision yeah. that we don't understand. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not like, I don't think God requires blind faith from us. No, no. So we have to make a decision that we can actually rationalize and we can relate to. Remember, actually, yesterday you called me politically incorrect. Yeah. Well, I may be so, but. If I can't relate to it, I think it's worse than actually making a decision yeah. saying, oh, I'm politically correct, but yeah. I have no idea why I made the decision but just actually, to be politically actually correct. Actually, I think that he, he just was a man of faith. Yeah. 
he had faith in justice, in truth. Right. You know? Yeah. As a he journalist, for the truth. as a journalist, he, he was a, a crusader for truth. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, he was a Trotskyist. You know, <laughs> I mean, which is a yeah. cause in yeah. itself, not dogmatic Marxism, yeah. but was a cause. So I, I believe he had faith. But on the other hand. I find uh, it to be more entertaining and funny to yeah, yeah. have uh, Melo with his chance yeah. than with some holy people in the church. Yeah, like you know? some of the pastors that we know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I go for his chance, believe yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, me too. Know. Yeah, I, definitely. Yeah. I, 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 I yeah. look another way when this And he's probably going to confess and be humble and say, you know what? I really wish I, I had a chance to, you know, to learn, to learn yeah. more science and to go back to yeah. history and yeah. understand it more. Mm -hmm. And he would probably say, I know I was ignorant. I, I ignored a lot of historical things. And definitely, I d didn't understand science to the point yeah. where I could make this d decision to obviously see that the creator of the universe, whoever he is, triune or not, yeah. is a good creator. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so you and don't think uh, God is mm -hmm. obsessed with uh, some details? No, we are very I, obsessed I, with I, no. I think God it. takes us as we take our children. You know, they when they're one year old, mm -hmm. we treat them as one year old. When they're five or mm -hmm. seven or fifteen. We treat them as yeah, you know, in religion, people have to be afraid of something. Yeah. So, I mean, if you don't tell them that God is so obsessed with details that he's just getting mad, you know, <laughs> when you sidestep yeah. in a very yeah. trivial thing, then people are going to ignore all those details. And uh, uh, after they ignore the details, they are going to ignore big issues and blah, 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 and so well, on. Well, you know, that's what I thought. I thought that, you know, me, by, by trying to get rid of all these dogmas and regulations, yeah. that uh, all of a sudden, you know, I will lose myself and, you know, mm -hmm. I will not, I will not uh, do this or do that. But, you know, actu actually, once I freed myself from all yeah. these things, I started to do spiritual things, like going to the orphanage, uh, you know, s you know, thinking of tight yeah. to support science yeah, yeah. and thinking of tight to support, uh, you know, uh, good malnourished causes, yeah. children and, and good causes like mm -hmm. trying to help yeah. some some mm -hmm. people build the orphanage, uh, no, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like a medical yeah. uh, place. Facilities, for yeah. Facilities in, in Romania where people mm -hmm. don't have it, yeah. like the whole village doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. So I think you can actually free, once you can understand and free yourself from all these things, you can actually be an even better person. I'm free. In a uh, yeah. very disciplined, well, you know, like Jesus life. said, uh, you know, uh, grab truth and the truth will set you free. Yeah. Or grab hold of the truth, yeah. and the truth and will, set, will, you will free. set you free. So, well, my last question: Our ti uh, time is uh, over. Uh, uh, you believe in resurrection? Yeah, in resurrection. I do believe. I, okay. like, like I explained to you, it's it's it's, it's like a simple. A transfer of data from from, yeah. from from for example from, from your iPhone to your computer. Of course, yeah. It's, uh, it's I, no more than that if you have the right technology. Yeah, we have more analogy. We have the analogy of teleportation, for instance. Right. Teleportation of information, I mean, not yeah, uh, like yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah, Star Trek. Yeah, exactly. you know? So we we have all those so, so stuff. Yeah. So you know, iPhone is one yeah. one kind of uh, object that can yeah. maintain and and, 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 and and use data. Yeah. Computer is another. Of course. Uh, the human body is one. The one brain is a computer. One one way of uh, you know. Maintaining yeah. uh, uh, information in, yeah. in a biological form, uh, we can take the same information and transpose it to a different yeah. Uh, yeah. sort of maybe virtual body. Yeah. You know that doesn't need a physical yeah. form. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about uh, there is a guy John Pauling Hard? Yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I actually I it's like that guy. interesting. Yeah. yeah, he has a very interesting theory because it's based on the evolution of our universe mm -hmm. uh, as a quantum physicist. You know, yeah. so you see the evolution of the universe. And uh, looking at uh, the 13 billion years yeah. in the past, and like 50 billion uh, ahead, he said that basically the evolution of our universe will, will reach a point where the universe becomes informational. Yeah. And he says it will be possible to retrieve all the information because the information, the universe being a closed system, yeah. the universe doesn't go out. Escape, uh, the it, it stays. The information it's, yeah, it, escape, it stays yeah. here. Okay, then it does escape, uh, and information not destroyed. Yeah. And so. Uh, uh, do you believe that, uh, like, let's say, the resurrection is, will be like uh, heaven is another part of this universe, uh, a planet? Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Or, yeah. or maybe it's another stage of the universe. Uh, I haven't really given it much mm -hmm. thought, but uh, I, you know, if, if God is outside of the universe, we yeah. could actually surpass the universe and, and you yeah. know w w with a virtual body and a way of living yeah. or a way of existing not yeah living, yeah yeah we can survive the universe yeah, yeah. we we can yeah. be outside the universe yeah of course and Go I think, to another you know, universe. And, and i think an intelligent and loving god would not limit us just to this universe yeah yeah, yeah to yeah, this yeah. planet yeah yeah, right? yeah. especially once we 
okay, when you're a fetus, you're a fetus. You're inside yeah. the mother's yeah. placenta. Uh -huh. But once you are born into the world, uh -huh. the world is yours. Yeah. I, I'm not going to tell my daughter, you know, you can only live in this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I love her. I want her to experience mm -hmm, the world. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see God being any, anything less than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, he will be a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's not a codependent parent, yeah. let's say. I mean, I mean, I see God even um, not being so obsessed to have us under his control. Yeah. Like we imagine him, you yeah. know. A good father, but one that uh, is kind of codependent. You yeah. Know? No, God is not called no, it. It's just not. It's just like us, you know, once our kids re reach a yeah. certain age, they're free to do, you yeah. know, and uh, make decisions for themselves. And to fly. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully we'll meet again uh, yeah. It'll be my here pleasure. or, uh, let's, let's say, in, in a kind of virtual space. stage of existence, space. if anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> meet you in heaven, whatever. But yeah. before that, maybe on kind of, on a, in a kind of virtual oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. environment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I wish you a good journey back home. My, it's my pleasure. Yeah. And Thank uh, you all. Please, uh, uh, my friends, uh, uh, yeah, you, you can ask, me anything. Yeah, ask any questions or yeah. give you his input in the forum. Thank you. Have, and, uh, and good night. Good night.